Hi, now the holidays are here, it's a great time to clean your MacBook, not just the dirt off of it, but organise your files and your folders. Step 1, organise your launch pad. If like me, over the last few months your launch pad has become disorganised, drag them into folders. Drag one icon on top of the other and the new files will appear. This might seem really obvious, but in the same way you keep your iPad hopefully organised, organising your desktop of your MacBook will pay huge dividends when you're looking for that key app to use next. Step 2. My hard drive is full of cached files, particularly from iMovie. I use a program specifically called Clean My Mac, which isn't actually that expensive. When you run it, it searches through files, folders, logs, and particularly cache files. By my reckoning, I've already cleaned about 66 gigabytes of files over the last year from my hard drive, which means without cleaning these, my hard drive will be 66 gigs less. There are manual ways of doing this. You don't need to use an app like Clean My Mac, but I find for me this really helps in getting rid of all those little files that get left behind, particularly from iMovie and I find iDVD, especially when you're rendering a big file. Once it's scanned the drive, you can ask it to clean it, and it'll clean and remove all those files quite safely. If any of the files are system files that might cause damage, you'll be prompted to go into administrator mode and you'd have to put your password in. But cleaning my Mac, really, really good piece of software. Okay, step three. I love iTunes movies, but they're taking up a massive space on my hard drive. And to be honest, I don't watch them all that often, as so my big movies. So I've just dragged and dropped them from the iTunes music movie file onto my USB hard drive for later. This one... It might seem really obvious, but look for duplicate files. I use a program now, again called Tidy Up. This scans your entire documents, movies, videos, and looks for duplicate files. Now the trial version only lets you remove 10 files at a time, but it's good to see where the duplicate files lie, especially when I keep downloading the same things from Dropbox more than once. And finally, if you like me, make lots of um, movie files, you might have all the little clips you use to create your HD movies or your movies. Perhaps remove some of those, put them onto a USB hard drive, save them somewhere else, free up that space. Now, once you've got your Mac organised, keep it up, 